Hello, I'm going to show you today a super cool feature. It's called variables. Now, why variables is super cool is because it allows you to answer what if questions. Like, what if we were to change this? How does everything work? So let's get into it. Check this out. I have a dashboard here and I have this little toggle. And look, if I change this, this number changes. So how am I able to do that? Well, I'm using something called Domo variables. So let's go create a card. I'm going to have you go hit a plus sign, create new card, visualization, existing data, pick whatever you want. I happen to have a data set called dummy data that I always use and pick whatever you want. It really doesn't matter. Okay. Watch me check this out. I am going to go to popular charts at the top and I am going to click that. And I'm looking for single value. That's it. I'm just going to click single value. And I get some number, right? Some rando number. Again, our numbers might not match because I'm using a different data set than you. Not a big deal. I'm going to go grab revenue. I'm going to just put that into values. And I'm going to make that for mine a sum. Whatever. Okay? I like you to do the same. Take whatever data set you want. Put some green number into values. That's all you have to do. Drop it in there. Okay, we have a static number. What if we were to say though, like, huh, but you know, what if we wanted to calculate revenue? Um, we wanted to make it net or at maybe maybe gross after we discount it for whatever reason. Well, we could put variables in there to help us out. So I'm gonna go to variables. And here I'm gonna say, create a variable. And I'm gonna call this one like mm, percentage, something so small percentage. It's going to ask me what type of variable, what type of value do I want this to be? I'm going to say I want to be a numeric. My default value is a one. I'm going to say create control. And here I have these different options in here to choose from. I'm going to pick input plus slider. Okay. So I'm going to say I want to go from zero because we're doing a percentage 0 0.01. Uh, yeah, whatever to one. Okay. This little step size thing, I'm going to do 0 0.1. This little step size is means, do we go like that? Like I want it in these steps from 1.1. Actually, I should make my minimum zero. Okay. Do I want to go step size like by, you know, these different factors? That's what that means. You can make it 25 if you want to. You can make it 50. You could do whatever you want. 20. You could choose whatever you want it to be. But like that. Okay. Format. Let's make this a percent. There we go. And you know what, then I should make this zero to 100%. Let's make my default value 100%. Cool. And let's make my step size. Let's make it 10%. There we go. Now I can move like that. Okay, let's pretend we have that. We're gonna say create variable in orange. Save it, close it. Okay, now we just made something in pink called percentage. That's what my variable is. So now what I can do is I can make a whole calculated field. I'm going to go to columns, create calculated field. And now I can call this revenue with, I don't know, percentage. This is just showing you an example. Q will. So if I do that, I can say, give me sum of revenue times, I go to variables, my percentage right there. That's the one that I made. Great calculated field. Save, close. Let's go find our new formula, which is right here. I call the revenue with the percentage. Drop it in. Let's do it again. Awesome. Now let's go give it a shot. I'm going to just say save and close. Okay. I'm going to go down here. You can see I have something right here. I'm going to hit this big wrench, edit, drag it. I'm going to put this, I don't know, sure, right, right here. It doesn't really matter. And on the right hand side, when I'm editing this dashboard, you could see this little icon that says controls right here. I'm going to drag that to the left, make it a little bit smaller. Hit add constant and or content percentage. We did it. So now I can type in a percentage or I can just move the slider along and that will change. Why that is very, very cool is because you could do things like, hey, if I wanted to say we have this tax rate, how do things change? You could do it that way. I've done this to do 
uh, scenario building of, well, we have X amount of dollars in the bank. If we spent this amount on month one, this amount on month two, on month three, how do we look? You could do stuff like that. You can even do it with text where you could say, hey, if I pick this scenario, I want this calculation to occur. Like I want to do a week over week, a month over a month, a year over a year. You could do all that stuff. In fact, I have some gifts for you. So if you go to my YouTube page, you can see that I am going to show you how you can do what exactly what I said. You can say, hey, I want the ability to choose week over week, month over month, year over year, and the number will automatically populate. That's because we can use variables to do that. I have a lot of other examples on how you can use variables to really help you out to make your life easier. And if you want to get even better, I have an entire course. I have an entire course at dashboarddudes.com where I show you how to use all these really cool features. And one of them is variables right here. So with the Dashboard Dudes course, you get a 14-day trial. And what you can do is you could check out how to do Domo 101, 201, Bricks, Data Science, Data Distribution, all these things and you get variables. So give it a shot, check it out, have fun with it. Hopefully you learn something. In addition, you get 30 minutes with me free every single month. You get one email a month from me where I just talk about the latest and greatest in data or Domo or cooking world. And you get access to my FAQ video library. So if you have a question on how to do something, I might have a video answer for you already. You can access that, have fun, and you can learn. All right, that's how to use variables. Good luck, and I hope it works out for you.